Hi everyone, welcome back to the second part of the tutorial video on gradebook creation in ISAMS. Today we're going to look at how the columns like assessment columns and calculated columns can be created in gradebook. In the previous video tutorial, we learned how to create a structure of the gradebook. After that, now we are going to add more columns. So these are the main steps to complete a gradebook adding assessment columns, copying the columns, and uh, grouping multiple columns together, adding calculated columns like these, which is listed here. After creating, by the end of the creation of a gradebook, your gradebook will have these many columns, like you can see in the screenshot. Like I told before, our school is following an, a naming format. So if you have any doubts regarding the naming format, you can always refer to this screenshot. This PPT will be attached to this video as well. Let's start now. The first column which we are going to add here is assessment column. To add assessment columns, we need to follow these. We need to be careful about these options like entry type might must be manual. Write the name which uh, is the topic of the assessment and short name which follows the naming format which is continuous assessment one which is in short CA1. Then the position is the gradebook into which we, are we have to add this ass assessment column and the editing option as read only. And in the next window, you need to uh, enter the total mark of these assessments. So let's start by creating an assessment column. So I have created uh, one trial gradebook here. I'm going to add the assessment column into that. There are no columns in this. So I'm going to add the first assessment column here, which is on the topic Boolean algebra. Let's see. Now the name is continuous assessment one as this is the first assessment. Now I entered the trial. I entered the position as trial and editing as read only, pressing next and entering the total mark as trending. You can press next and press finish. So here you can see one uh, assessment column. Like this, I have four assessment in term two. So I have to add those four here. Now here I have two assessment columns, but I need two more. So rather than creating individual assessment columns, I have an option to uh, or duplicate the previous ones here by duplicating this we can change the the name of the assessment column and we can change the maximum mark so that we will get the new uh, columns in that case we don't need to uh, continue all the other steps so let's see how to, uh, to duplicate these columns to duplicate this we need to follow these steps and to go here have a look into the options view carefully. Let's see how to create that. Go to group columns, select the number of assessment columns to be duplicated. Then here into which grade book you need. Now you can select the position and into the uh, into the last or into the first of the grade book. Here I'm choosing empty dates and continue, continue and the publish portal publish page row can be empty portal dates and let's finish here you can see that two more assessment columns created by duplicating the previous one we can edit the name part and the total mark so that we will get new more columns there here i'm going to write that trade stables it is assessment column three and in the publishing part i'm writing changing the maximum mark as 10 as i've conducted it in 10 marks same like that i have to do the three step fourth one now i have four assessment columns here and i also have entered the sample marks now, next step is to add the calculated columns like total, average, and all. But before that, uh, I'm going to show how to group these columns. We have an option to group these columns like 
these all are related to continuous assessment after that we have the columns for a final exams as well right so we are going to group these columns to group these columns we have to go to list view where we have an option uh, here in the same line of the name of the grade book we have an option to group where we need to write the name of the group where i'm writing continuous assessment or i as these all columns are related to continuous assessment then stroke name also can be the same in the same thing now you can press save so a new group is created i can move this group to the top of the grade book after that to bring these columns inside the group i need to grab these columns into the group name like this so all these columns are inside the group to remember the steps have a look at the ppd if you have any doubts you can always look at the ppd for the steps so we have all the assessment columns ready now it's time to calculate the uh, the marks like uh, adding finding the sum and the average of all these things so to add the calculated columns we have to go to uh, calculated column part here now the first calculated column we need is ca total continuous assessment for total so short name with the position where you can see that when you choose position there's a new group came under the grade book a trial there is a new group which is continuous assessment so you can choose that if you want this to column a calculated column to be inside that group so i'm choosing continuous assessment as this is a part of that now here as this is a, a calculated columns we need to choose the calculator time calculation time here we have some predefined calculation types here like average mean and sum here we have to find the sum as we have to find the sum of these uh, marks we can choose sum here and rounding to zero decimal places you can press next here you need to choose how, how many what columns to be added together and press next next and finish you can see that a new column came here if you look at the workbook view you can see that the all these marks have been added up here the next step is to add we need to find the the 40 percent of this to find the 40 percent again we need to add another calculated column here this is ca continuous assessment weightage uh, of 40 percent but remember this 40 percent is out of 50 it's not out of 100 so that is why this 50 because it, it is the total of my uh, assessment all the assessment so you have to mention it over there so i'm also mentioning it here you can just avoid, remove this weight it's here 40 percent out of 50 and it's in again in continuous assessment and here we don't have any predefined uh, what formula here so i'm choosing formula builder into rounding into zero percentages now we are going to find the 40 percent of our ca total to find that you need to go to columns and choose ca total where to find the 40 percent you can type times 0 0.4 press format and verify check for any errors and you can press next next and finish you can see that the 40 percent of ca total out of 50 is been taken here but it's not out of 100 to make it it make it it into 100 we need to add another column again it's a calculated column it is ca weightage uh, out of 100 percent so you can choose the same name here into continuous assessment again the formula builder it is zero and here in the formula part you need to choose uh, the ca weightage 40 percent out of 50. now in this 
we need to write this is to make it into 100 we can choose the calculation like the CA weight is 40 percent out of 50 times 100 all divided by 50 this 50 is the total mark of my assessments so this may vary uh, subject to subject so be careful about it so if I go to the uh, workbook view you can see that all the assessment columns are here CL total is here now 40 percent uh, of CA total out of 50 is here and out of 100 is also here so this student is getting a uh, full percent here and this student is getting half percent as we have entered all the half marks so I hope you have understood how to add these uh, what assessment columns and how to group this